Good morning and welcome to St. David's Cathedral for our Shrine Prayers. We begin today with the Collect, the special prayer for St. Daniel, Bishop. Almighty God, who inspired your Bishop, Daniel, to gather around him a community, to live the common life, Grant that we, who honour his memory, may work to build up the family of your church in faith and hope and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor, all honour and glory now and forever. Amen. Each week we meet as pilgrims in this beautiful building on a journey that St. David himself took. The special prayer for St. David, who called others to be joyful, to keep the faith, and to be faithful in the little things. God our Father, you gave St. David to the people of Wales to uphold the faith. Encouraged by his example, May we joyfully hold fast to the things which lead to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospels. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me and he got up and followed him. For some, it takes only the briefest encounter with Jesus Christ to realise that following him was their inevitable destiny. For others, it may take years of wrestling or avoidance or false starts to come to a consistent commitment to let Jesus lead us in all things. Yet we believe that he knows us and the best path for us, better than we do ourselves. His call to follow is one of compassionate, redeeming love. And so let us pause for a moment to consider our own journey of life. Where are we now? Where are you heading? What is the way ahead, shaped by God's good and loving purposes? And so let us pray for ourselves and all who visit this cathedral today, that God will guide our lives Lord Jesus Christ, St. David, Saviour and ours, you are the way, the truth and the life. Be our way. Give us grace to follow your lead, courage to persevere when the going is tough, and when we stumble, let us not be afraid to grasp your outstretched hand as you offer us a fresh start. Be our truth. Give us your wisdom so we may know how to walk in the paths of honesty and integrity. Be our life. Revive us when we falter, refresh us when we tire, and bring us to share in your risen life, now and for all eternity. Amen. And so we say together the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Wherever you are on your pilgrim journey, we pray for your safety. We pray for your knowledge and understanding of God. And we pray that you might recognize and feel his presence in this place and wherever you are. And so we close with a prayer of blessing. After which, spend some time in the cathedral or where you are in time of reflection. Almighty God, awaken in us the zeal of your servant David, that we may joyfully follow you in singleness of heart through Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>